Hey everybody, welcome to episode 10 of Goddard Family Farmhouse. This is Shane Goddard. This is a story of us building our home on five acres just outside Nashville, Tennessee. In this episode, you can see we did the, uh, the pre-insulation where they come in and they caulk all the uh, joints and everything on the exterior of the walls. They foam around the outlets and uh, do all that good stuff, getting it ready for insulation to go in in the walls and the cavities and, and all those areas. Now let's go to the room above the garage that we decided to finish. You can see they've started working on the Ethernet cables, the low voltage there. The plumbing's already roughed in, electrical's roughed in, and they're starting on the uh, HVAC now as well as the low voltage. They had not finished that yet, but still working on that right now. So let's go to the office over here, and you can see where they've started running their copper lines and everything and all the ducting and all that for the HVAC. So we ended up going with carrier units. Wow, you can really see those HVAC guys have been hanging ducts and securing them and even see some uh, Cat 6 cables running through there. You can see the insulation guys have already put it behind the tub there. Check out these ethernet cables. There's 54 of them, but it's a much better connection than wireless. And I went with PoE video surveillance systems, power over ethernet, so there's no lag. We've decided to spend the extra money and go ahead and screw down our floors to prevent floor squeaks and just make sure everything's more secure. And so he and his team come in and they put a couple of thousand screws in the floors and everything of the upstairs and the downstairs. So with all the kids that we have and then their friends and our nieces and nephews over here and just running and the jumping and everything kids do. I just wanted to hear as few floor squeaks as possible. Now what we're going to do here is actually sand the seams where the wood connects so that way you don't have uh, any rises and everything like that when you go to put down the hardwood floors or fill up the carpet or anything. Everything's nice and smooth and the joins good and all that good stuff. I considered doing this myself because you can rent these machines. But as you can see, this is a back-breaking job. And I've literally broken my back before and walked with a limp today. So it was well worth the extra three or four hundred dollars he charged. It turned out great. All the floors have been screwed down. As you can see, all the seams have been sanded. They're nice and level and flush it just really really pleased with how everything turned out here now let's take a look at the garage let's pour some concrete
have all the gravel in the garage. Now let's prepare it for concrete. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't hesitate to get in touch with us with any questions that you may have about our journey. Make sure you take a look at our next episode because Brick drops now.